Hey, Abraham, what do you think about that time? I'm not sure I can finish the entire thing. The assignments and response are always so demanding and I'm really bad in the Congress. I feel so stressed right now. Yes, I get what you're trying to say. For me, the standards are really high and the teachers are not worried about the students with learning difficulties. Yes, and all I can teach us for our lessons is top. Since I have ADHD, I can barely concentrate and learn that way. I wish we could use more resources like laptops and models for our learning. I agree with you, Abraham. The current education system needs more work. Achievement gaps are very apparent. This leads to some students not taking school seriously or even dropping out. In the U.S., about 25% of high school freshmen fail to graduate on time. Academic difficulty and disengagement are two primary reasons why students do not graduate on time or drop out. Most classes consist of students with a wide range of learning ability, and so it lacks personalized learning. The students who are most affected by this are those with learning disabilities. The people's economic mobility is hampered without quality education. So today, we're going to be discussing about education equity. So let's get right into it. Firstly, Mother, what is education equity? And is it any different from education equality? Well, that's a good question. Education equity displays fairness, while equality displays sameness. So, for example, a teacher gives a bit of help to each student. That's equality, because everyone gets the same amount of help from the teacher. Education equity would be when the teacher gets more or less help based on the student's difficulty learning. So that's equity because it's fair. That's an interesting way of putting it. Okay, so now that we understand the differences, can you tell us uh, why education equity is something we should be focusing on right now? Yes, of course. Education equity is very important. When it comes to good education, as I said, its main objective is for all students to have academic success. It helps to reduce things like achievement gaps, school dropouts, school stress, and disengagement all of which are expanded throughout our current system. We also know that education equity will greatly support those people with learning disabilities. Yes, I agree with everything you said. Education equity is something that could fix a lot of issues. Thanks for coming here and informing us about this topic. In the education system, if all students develop the knowledge and skills they need to be engaged and become productive members of society. Moreover, it will reduce school stress and discrimination that a lot of students face. In the long run, people have a higher economic mobility due to better education, which ensures a greater quality of life. Thank you. Greetings. My name is Dr. Saganthan. I am a licensed professional engineer working at a university, primarily managing engineering technology programs. So let's get into the topics, uh, which is how to implement education equity. Why do we have different curriculums, such as in high schools, they have applied courses and also academic courses. So applied courses focus on the application of theory with projects and labs and you know things like that. Where academic courses, they pave the way to do more research. To give you an example, let's say if you want to learn about a specific tool to configure and operate with different options, that would be simply covered in an applied course. But if you really want to learn how to make improvements to design of the tool, that would be covered in an academic course. So to answer this question, uh, courses can be configured and implemented using LMS, uh, which stands for Learning Management Systems, such as Blackboard, Canvas, and eCollege. These systems provide the flexibility to access the material online and it can support both on-site and online learning modalities. The programs could read the text for students who are visually impaired. There are many features in these platforms which enable schools and higher education institutions to configure based on the needs of their students. Let's move into the third question, diversify the curriculum, and why? A curricular design should include content that should be based on the DEI principles for diversity, equity, and inclusion. Technology-based curricula should be updated periodically to be aligned with current technologies. The examples could include diverse perspectives of people, countries, and technology. This would help the students to see the connectivity such as how the curriculum is applied in various real-world applications. Thank you.